I'm about to show you how to remove a background in a photo using a free program called GIMP. The first thing you need to do is download GIMP if you haven't already. I'll put a link to it in the description or you can just Google it. It is optimized to work on a computer instead of a phone. I'll be using it on Windows 11. Once it's installed, go ahead and open it. Then locate a photograph that you want to remove the background from and drag and drop it into the large gray area in GIMP. You're going to need to zoom in and out on the photo as you work. To do that, hold control on the keyboard and move the mouse wheel. When you dragged that photo into the program, it created a layer out to the right. Right click on that layer and select add alpha channel. If the option for add alpha channel is grayed out, that means you already have an alpha channel and you're okay to proceed. Then in the upper left, you'll need to find the free select tool, which looks like this. Click on it and it'll become selected. If you don't see the free select tool, right click every symbol in that area until you see it listed and then left click on it. Now with the free select tool highlighted, we are going to use it to draw lines around the part of the photo we want to keep. In my case, I'll be keeping the bird and the branch that it's on. I'll start by clicking outside the photo above the branch here. That click created a tiny circle, and then when I click in another spot, it creates a line. You'll just keep clicking to build a series of lines around the object that you want to keep. If you make a mistake, you can hit backspace on the keyboard to erase the last circle that you created. I can also click and hold one of those circles and move it around. I'll transition onto the bird here, and that's where it gets tricky due to the feathers, which can't quite be captured with a straight line. But for now, I'm just gonna do my best, and in a little bit, I'm gonna show you a trick to make feather-like surfaces look better. You do not have to use straight lines to do the outline. You can also just hold down the left mouse button and draw a line freehand like here. I find this a little bit tricky to use because it's kind of hard to control the line, but I wanted to point it out to you anyway. Ultimately, you want your last line to meet up with the first line. And to do that, your last click needs to be on that first circle. When you do that, there will be a moving line around the object. If you hit the delete button on the keyboard right now, the entire selected object will disappear, leaving the background, which is the opposite of what we want. So go ahead and hit Ctrl plus Z to undo what you just did, and then go to the upper left and click on Select. And within that menu, click Invert. Now the moving line is around the background. Hit delete and it's gone. Then go back under select and click none. The moving lines are now gone. You may have other little parts of the background still in the image. I still have some around the bird's foot here, so you may need to do some more trimming. Here I'll highlight this little part and I'll hit delete. Then I'll go to select and click none. I'll then highlight the next part and keep repeating until I'm done. If you have feathers or hair in your image, you can make the edges look better by smudging them. That's what I'm going to do with my bird here. On the left, I'm going to select the smudge tool. If you're using it too, you may want to make your settings match mine down here. You just have to change all those little numbers and stuff. I'll then hold down the left mouse button and make an outward stroke and then let go. And I'll continue to do that, making a bunch of outward strokes along the edges of the bird. That's going to take some of the colors of the bird and move them outward and also make them more fuzzy. That will make the bird look less like it was cut from an image. Next, I'll show how to add a different background to the image. But first, you may want to export this existing photo so that you have a copy of it. To do that, go to the upper left and click on File, Export As, use the interface to find a folder to put it in, and you'll also want to change the extension to PNG if it isn't already. And then click Export and Export again. 
to add a background to your sliced out photo, drag and drop another photo into GIMP like this. That creates a second layer. I want my bird to be the top layer or else I can't see the bird. So what I'll do is I'll drag and drop the background layer so that it's second in position. The new background is not filling up the entire canvas here. On the left, I'll select the scale tool. And with the background layer highlighted on the right, I'll click on the background and some squares will appear around the edges. I'll drag and drop those squares to resize it and then hit enter. Now my image may not be the prettiest one ever, but I'm done with it and I can now export it the same way I did a minute ago. And that's all I wanted to show you today. If you found this tutorial useful, please leave a like. Thank you for watching.